hello my horde. Welcome to another unboxing of things I probably shouldn't have bought. Um, today I am doing a mystery boxy girl. Um, the, the mystery packs I believe are the ones that are Target exclusive. Um, but you can also find non-mystery well, the doll is not a mystery, but they come with mystery accessories, I believe, is what the rest of the line is. Um, the uh, package is designed vaguely to look like a cardboard box, like I assume as if uh, the doll has been shipped to you not dissimilar to a mail order front. No, I don't know why I made that joke. I know why. I stole it from my husband. Anyway, uh, now that I'm looking at the box art more closely though, there is this girl, uh, she's got like watermelon pockets on her overalls and this like fluffy shirt and palm trees on her cool green sunglasses. I like her. I want her. Um, there are a lot of these. Um, I, I like the artwork more than I like the dolls on these. Um, I do like dolls anyway. So let's let's see what we got here. There's a nice little tear tab that didn't quite work for me. That's fine. Alright. Here we go. Oh, I got like the plainest one. Okay. Just blonde hair, plain blue dress, pink shoes. All right, this is what you risk. Oh, which one is this? <laughs> is this? Oh, the artwork of this one looks um, a ton better. This, she not come with her accessories at all? I guess they don't, you have to buy accessories sold separately, even though they're featured on the artwork of the doll. Um, I'm guessing, I don't know, I don't, that didn't seem completely clear to me. It is just the doll. I think this one is Emmelyn, but she doesn't have her earrings and stuff as featured. And the hair is a little bit different. It it's weird because I think she she's got a tiny bun, but this is this is the only one that has a bun on the box and she looks totally different. Uh, but I think that's the one she's supposed to be. I mean, that's on me for misunderstanding the concept a little bit, I guess. I was kind of thinking it was one doll plus all her accessories, um, because that's what all the artwork is. They all have, like, earrings or, like, headwear. Uh, but yeah, I guess you, you genuinely have to purchase that elsewhere. <laughs> so we may have to do another video on this so that I can actually... I really don't have any scissors. Uh, that is the stupidest thing. There. Aha! I'll just manhandle it. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> uh, maybe it's just me. I don't... I don't understand the weird tiny bun. Uh, and so that is coming down. Absolutely, because what... What is going on there? Well, hold on. I better check that that's not going to, like, ruin. I don't think it will. I think I can successfully take this out and it won't, like... Do anything horrifying? Yeah. She doesn't even come with a brush to brush out this mane of nonsense. Because, yeah. Okay. She has, she has her bangs tied up so that she has that nice look there. Uh, but yeah, if that was supposed to be a bun. I don't understand why it wasn't 
I don't understand why it was just a tiny little bun there. Uh, yeah, I'm absolutely... This hair needs a lot of attention. Um, <laughs> a lot of attention. Um, gosh, and there's, there's so much nothing to review about this because it's so plain. It is just a doll with printed on underwear. Uh, I wasn't opening the dress to look for that, but that's true. And just, yeah, this little, this little knit blue dress that uh, looks much fancier in the artwork, but I, yeah, I really believe that's the doll it is. Um, she doesn't have her earrings or the butterfly in her hair, or, but she has the, the pink shoes and a blue dress that looks nothing like the blue dress in the artwork. So she's a blank canvas. We could make some good dresses for this doll um, since she did not come with one. Um, that was far less exciting than I was expecting that video to be because uh, I have not a lot of other detailed thoughts about this. Um, I guess I like the artwork uh, better because I think the the boxy faces works in the artwork because it's got that sort of um, watercolor quality to the artwork but in real life square head is kind of freaky um, but she could be really cute I think if you actually taken care of and and you actually had those accessories uh, or made some for her or something um, she's got a little bit of a paint smudge in the plastic of her wide, wide forehead. Yeah. Okay, so before I end this video, I, um, so after, after initial reactions to the boxy girl, um, I did remember that I had that QQ Harajuku, uh, fashion pack, and I thought, you know what, these seem like similarly sized dolls, uh, so I tried this out on her. And it went really well. Uh, the headpiece does fit. Uh, it's super cute. These are actually the socks that are supposed to go with this outfit, but they don't fit. Uh, they don't fit quite right on the legs, um, and the shoes didn't fit at all. So having the socks on seemed weird. These are her original shoes. The the QQ Harajuku shoes are some more of those plastic with the busted open um, boots and her feet are just too big to sit inside them. I did a little bit of work on her hair, but not not full work. There's still that bump there, but which actually having the headband on kind of helps. Um, and I just liked it in this little ponytail, um, so I did that to her. And these earrings, I'm actually not sure. <laughs> they were just somewhere in my doll accessories. I'm not sure if they are Bratz or Barbie or something, uh, but those are from yet another set, and that is that is about it. But I'm actually I'm pleased that uh, this this dress fit her, although it does uh, it does slide quite a bit, so you have to make sure it stays up. But um, in the future, I would maybe just put a little halter on that to fix that issue. Um, but as my dolls are largely display pieces, not play pieces. It's not too big an issue that it slips and slides. But yeah, with some accessories, obviously super cute. Um, it was just <laughs> a surprise and I was disappointed that she came with nothing in the plainest dress possible. Uh, but I got to, <laughs> I got to use that uh, fashion pack for dolls that I don't even have, so that worked out for me. So that's it for today's video and I will see you treasures next time.